Welcome to Detroit Sports Jersey, Saturdays at 3 p.m. Eastern, broadcasting live from Detroit and stretching to the heart of Central Texas here on WCHB 1200 and 99.9 FM with co-host Longhorn. Straight sports talk, no professionals here. Live calling number 313-568-1200. And now, here's your host that never gets it right but is never wrong, Will Sims. All right, welcome to Detroit Sports Jersey. I'm your host, Will. Welcome to Detroit Sports Jersey, February the 14th with me and the Longhorn. What's going on, Longhorn? What's up, what's up? Game time, prime time, Detroit Sports Jersey time. What's up, Detroit? Let's get it on, Will. All right, let me um tell you what we got. Let me say this first of all. Happy Valentine's Day to all the ladies out there. Yeah, happy Valentine's Day to everybody, everybody. Yeah. Dairy Queen special. <laughs> All right, man. <laughs> Check this out. We got a lot to throw in the midst of, um, today. I want to um, give out the number, 313-568-1200. We're going to touch on the um, Little League Jackie Robinson team being stripped of um, their title. Also, uh, we want to know, do anybody still watch the NBA All-Star game? I mean, is that irrelevant anymore? But it's real quiet on the home front about that. I don't even know who in the dunk contest. Do you long yeah. on? No, we used to know back in the day who was in the dunk contest. I haven't known who's in the dunk contest since Spub Webb. That's how long it's been since I watched it. So, you know, it, it doesn't have the same flair as it used to be back in the day. And uh, I was watching TV last night, and I saw a glance of something about the the, the NBA versus the uh, the celebrity basketball game. I was like, what? What's what's going on? It's all about marketing. That's what I see. It's all about marketing now. So. I really don't follow the All Star Break uh, finale uh, uh, follies. That's what I call it, the follies. All right, check this out, Longhorn. Jackie Robinson team in Chicago Little League World Series. Jesse Jackson and got involved now, calling it a race issue. Do you see it a race issue? I'm gonna let you take it first. Three one three five six eight twelve hundred. I want to know the people's opinion opinion on this subject here. What do you think, Longhorn? I don't, I don't, you know, I don't think it's a race issue. What I think it is, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, an adult issue of those coaches and whoever redistricting those boundaries. They were wrong for trying to, trying to make themselves as more than what they were. If you break it down, just break it down to the facts. Those teams, those kids got beat by, by kids of their same age. Now, I can see if they had brought in ringers that were 15, 16 years old and the maturity of their kids as far as their muscles, their muscle structure goes. I mean, a 15-year-old can throw a fastball faster Long, than a 10-year-old. Long, why don't you just say kids that was probably on steroids? Just quit beating around the bush. <laughs> <laughs> go <just> continue. But, <laughs> but the bottom line is I don't think it's a race issue. Uh, but those, But those coaches – I would never trust those coaches again. If they came to my uh, – I don't understand how they feel that they're going to ever coach uh, again in a little league system. You know, I don't know where they're going to – they may have to go to another country. I never, I would never trust those coaches with my kids. It's a shame that those kids have to lose their title because somebody's getting greedy. But you got to understand everybody out there in the, in the coaching world, in any league from Pee Wee up to the NFL – if you have a championship team, there's somebody out there going over your team's record with a fine tooth comb. So you got to make sure you're all your ducks in a row because somebody is going to be looking at your team and trying to figure out why and how your team is is so good. Now, if if, if Jackie Robson team had never made it to the little league championship, if they had never made it, if they had lost every every game this season and in their season. Nobody would have ever looked into their record. Nobody would even care. This wouldn't even be a, a, a subject to discuss. You know what I'm saying? Well, let me let me yeah. piggyback on you for a minute there, Longhorn. Yeah. Once again, I want, back, to, I want to hear from the people. 313-568-1200. We're talking about the Jackie Robinson team in Chicago that was stripped of their title. That's not a race issue, but I'm going to tell you why. In 92, the Philippine team, you know, had their title yanked away from them for breaking the rules. Also in 2001... Um, New York Bronx team had their title stripped to them because they was actually using a 14-year-old going against 12-year-old. Yeah. So, so I don't yeah. think race has nothing to do with it. And I'll tell you another thing that uh, 
and everything in a nutshell that you hit um, on the head is the coaches. The coaches, no matter whether it's Little League, college, or the pros, you know who always pay the ultimate price is the players. That's right. The coaches move on to another team. I'm going to give you a perfect example. Let's take um, the coach uh, from Kentucky, John Calipari. Right. He messed up um, Memphis team. He messed up uh, UMass team. As a matter of fact, um, the Memphis team in 2007-2008 season, whole season was um, stricken from the records, off the books, because for the simple fact, Derrick Rose, who played for the Chicago uh, Bulls, he was too lazy to take his SATs. But you know what he's getting? But you know what he's getting? John Calipari is making $4 million a year at Kentucky. That's right. That's right. I can bring you back here local with Steve Fisher for the Fab Five. Bring it all back, brother. Bring it back. When they made Chris Weber and all them look bad, he's taking two hundred eighty thousand dollars. Out three other players, taking a total of three hundred and thirty-six thousand dollars. He is San Diego State coaching. There you go. You know, it's always the players, man, that pays the ultimate price. Never the coaches. Pete Carroll messed up at USC. Had Reggie Bush Heisman Trophy uh, stripped from him. He's in the NFL coaching. Let's go to line one, talk to John, see what he has to say. John, thanks for calling Detroit Sports Jersey. Talk to us. Thanks, thanks a lot, John. Welcome, John. Hey, hey, fellas. Listen, let's, let, let's, let's, let's don't get too much reactive and let's don't let's get overboard with it. That, 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 that parents also knew that, that them, them kids didn't live in that, in that, in that neighborhood and so forth. And, and, and the coaches, I mean, they they should be running out of time for for the, for the shenanigans that they, they pull and so forth. Cause they they now that they not uh, embarrass these kids, embarrass Chicago, and uh, they they definitely knew that. And uh, I have to say, I I don't think there's no racist issue about it and so forth. And I wish really, Reverend Jackson uh, would take a reality check and, and, and see the facts of what's going on. But like you said, man, you live in the United States of America, man. I mean, you know, this country has always had race to a certain extent. But I'm not surprised that you would think that. But yet still, I don't think no race had anything to do with it, man. I agree with you 100%, John. And one thing about it, too, also, you still have to play the game on the field. So where I'm living at really doesn't – I know there's rules to be followed, but I still beat you on the team. And if I'm the other team that came in second place, I wouldn't even want the trophy. That's right. You know, and I'm with you, John. That race has nothing to do with it. But, you know, like you said, you know there's racism out here. But I don't think this has nothing to do with race. A rule was broke. Thanks for calling in, John. And that's as simple as that, Longhorn. They broke the rules. And you know what? You know what, Will? I'm looking at a baseball that I got in my little man cave right now. And my baseball is red, black, and white. You know what I'm saying? It has nothing to do with no race issue. My baseball bat that I got, my Louisville Sluggers and my Lumen baseball bat has nothing to do with race, and my glove has nothing to do with race either. It's all played on the field. And Reggie and uh, old Jackson will go back in his history book, just like, like you did in your history books, and he will see that race has nothing to do with those other uh, little league teams getting their title stripped from them. So, but he's just trying to come up with something else, you know, throw the old card out there yeah, when it's a, not even needed, you know, trying to get some publicity. So, yeah, I, like uh, I said, I, I don't see race at all, and I just see flat out cheating. And but like you said though, and I agree with old John, you know, hey, you know, the team got whooped, you got whooped. If you go out to a sand lot now and there's no crowd and just those two teams, uh, Jack Robinson team and the other team who they beat in the, in the little league in the little league uh, playoffs for the championship, just those two teams by themselves, no parents, no coaches, and just those two teams, it'll still be the same the same finale. Jackie Robinson team will still whoop that team. And they'll walk out the playing field and go to Dairy Queen, get them some blizzards, and just <laughs> chill out, shake hands, and walk home. And that's my two cents on a Longhorn style. Moving on to the next topic, that will. All right, check this out, Longhorn. <laughs> since you since you chilling down in um, Texas, and I'm up here in this cold Detroit, a couple of stories down in Texas I read up on kind of piqued my interest. And um, I want to get your opinion and the people's opinion out there. Let's start with this number one. Social media. Has social media ever got you fired or in trouble? Because this is a young lady down in there, um, down in Texas. 
she got hired at Jets Pizza. As soon as she got hired, she uh, tweeted out, I start this F.A. job tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So the uh, manager, so the manager got wind of this, and he was like, "No, you don't start that job today. I just fired you. Good luck with your no money, no job. You know, a you know whatever. I just want to know three one three five six eight twelve hundred. That social media ever got you in trouble, Longhorn? No, social media, <laughs> social media never got me in trouble. And the thing about social media." that people should understand is once you put something out there on the internet, it stays on the internet. You can delete your pages, you can take your hard drive, and you can beat it down with a sludge hammer, 25-pound, 50-pound sludge hammer. You can set it on fire, you can blow a little dynamite. But guess what? Your internet trail is always out there. Let me tell you the one thing that can never be hacked. Let me tell you one thing that can never be hacked. You ready for a wheel? Talk to me. A paper... And a pencil can never be hacked. <laughs> so if you want something that could be hacked and something you get rid of, write it down on a piece of pa- uh, pa- piece of paper with a pencil, and it can never be hacked. So no, social media never uh, never affected me because I take care of what I put out there on social media. You know what I'm saying? I okay. I understand it. Okay, here goes another story, Longhorn, that piqued my interest down there in Tyler, Texas. This football player was dating this female, right? Right. And he come to find out that it was a dude and he killed her. So now he's charged with first degree murder. Have you ever been um I tell you what, let me get back to that first. Let's go to line one and talk to Glenn. Glenn, welcome to Detroit Sports Jersey. Hey, how you doing, guys? All right, and yourself. Hey, welcome, Glenn. Welcome, Detroit Sports Jersey. Oh man, I, I was uh, just uh listening to you about the social media thing and I'm tell you when you looking for a job or whatever, it's best don't even get on uh Facebook or nothing because they had a survey saying that uh, the owners of these companies pay these um, computer experts. They can find out what your personality is just by you hitting the like button, what you like. That's true. That's and, right. And, um, you know, and basically, you know your name. They go by your name as well, you know. <laughs> so, and, and, and funny you say that, Glenn, about the job because I got a daughter up in Minnesota and it came down to her and this other female getting a job. And the reason my daughter got the job because the other female social media, I guess, well, she had, I guess, weed posted all on her page, alcohol you know, post it all mm-hmm. on her page, half naked. So oh, the job okay. ended up going to my daughter. That's how they That's how they dis- made the decision, and, through social media. Yeah, and I'm going to tell you something else. You know, you got a lot of people that um always putting down where they work and stuff like that. The IRS used that to um, garnish your checks if you're behind. <laughs> you <said that>. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, garnish your checks if you're behind and, and things are like that. Now, I, I had a friend of mine, he... He said he paid a parking ticket in Detroit, so he had to go all the way down, not the 36th District Court, but he had to go to another area, and he said it was the last day, so he waited two hours. This place was stacked. What they do, he only had one ticket, and uh, he said that uh, they took his driver's license and a ticket, and what they did, they ran him through the uh, state. They ran, they ran his license through the state. So what happens is if you got more than one, they go back 10 years. If you got anything... Uh-huh. Within ten years, uh, you're gonna have to pay that, or you're not gonna get your license. So his came back with just the one ticket, but a lot of people ticked off. I'm telling you. Yeah, that social media gets you every time, Glenn. We appreciate you calling okay, in and listening. Yeah, Glenn. All right, you, you have a good day. All right, check this out. We're gonna take a quick commercial break, Longhorn. When we come back, I'm gonna get off into this story down there in Texas about this football player to end up dating this female to end up being a guy, and he end up killing her. And I want to ask you and the people out there, have you ever been fooled like that? And if if not, or if so, what have you done or what would you have, you know, what would you do? Because I got a story that uh, I know my friend don't want me to tell this story because I know he's listening. But I'm going to tell it anyway. We'll be back after a word from our sponsor. <laughs> have you been denied credit for a car, house, or credit card? Let Ovation clean up your credit score at 855-761-6968. That's 855-761-6968. Pretty women, are you here? Do you want beautiful, natural Malaysian, Peruvian, and Brazilian hair? Go to prettysadityhair.com. That's pretty, S-A-D-I-T-Y, hair.com. And now listen for some great deals. 
Detroit Sports Jersey is sponsored by PrettySedityHere.com. Beautiful, top-quality Brazilian, Malaysian, and Peruvian hair extensions. Our natural virgin Brazilian body wave hair is one of the highest quality Brazilian human hair on the market. Each bundle has been collected from select donors, and all cuticles are intact. All of our natural virgin Brazilian body wave hair has undergone a quality assurance process to ensure it is free of imperfections. Our bundles start at 10 inches for $50 and ship within 10 days. Get the soft, gorgeous, and manageable hair you have always wanted. Shop now at PrettySedityHair.com or call 334-327-3098. Listen up, parents and all high school seniors. Detroit Sports Jersey is giving away a $300 scholarship. And all you have to do is write an essay explaining why you should win. Send your 1,000-word essay to info at DetroitSportsJersey.com. Essays will be accepted from October 1st, 2014 through April 1st, 2015. Apply for the Detroit Sports Jersey Scholarship today. Winners will be announced Saturday, April 18th, 2015. Good luck, high school seniors. Detroit Sports Jersey is sponsored by Fiverr.com slash ENO Productions. For professional photo montages at a fraction of the price, check out Fiverr.com slash ENO Productions. This is where Detroit Sports Jersey goes for video work week after week. ENO Productions is capable of taking on all different kinds of projects, from commercials to weddings and so much more. That's Fiverr.com slash E-N-O Productions. That's F-I-V-E-R-R dot com slash E-N-O Productions. All right, welcome back to Detroit Sports Jersey. I'm your host, Will, live call in number 313-568-1200. What's up, Longhorn? You still there? Oh, yeah, I'm here ready to rock and roll game time. All right, let's let's get uh, it on, Peter Week Strong. Let's tell them, Longhorn, won't you speak real quick on this Detroit Lions Pro we about to team up with? Okay, yes, yeah. we uh we we just partnered up with Detroit Lions Pro, a couple of cool uh, gentlemen out there. Uh, we all we uh, they got a well based uh, uh, sports show, Detroit Lions Pro. You can check them out on there on the internet. A um, couple of uh, uh, cool young men we are teamed up with. Uh, you'll be hearing more about them in the future. They'll also be coming down to the show in the future and uh, doing some live broadcasting with us. Uh, they're gonna be covering the combine for us. Uh, which is from the 17th of February to the 23rd of February. But you hear more about them uh, next uh, next set. On matter of fact, on the 28th of February, they'll be coming down and doing a live show with us and let us know what's going on, what's the latest and greatest news out at the Combine. Detroit Lions Pro. All right, thank you, Longhorn. Now, Longhorn, back to this story down there in Tyler, Texas, about this football player dating this female that's uh, turned out to be a man. Have you ever been fooled like that before? No, I never been fooled like that before. I don't want to be fooled, and uh, I don't know what I don't know what to say about a situation like that. All I know is you go out to kill somebody, whether it's man, woman, you've been tricked, or uh, you know some shenanigans going on, or flim flammetry, then you got to pay. If you do the crime, you got to do the time. So, well, let me tell you about this story that when I was in my single days and younger. <laughs> My boy was over my house one day, so, you know, his story involved drugs, alcohol, and a whole lot of shenanigans. So he jumps up on one of these chat lines, right? I'm in there taking a shower. He comes out talking about, man, let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm like, what's going on? He told me he got two um, to go. Now, remember the, um, remember back in the day when they used to hold the festivals downtown at Hart yeah, Plaza? Yeah, I remember the festival. Plaza, yeah. yeah. So, man, it was one of these hot days here in Detroit, right? We go pick up these females. Now, the one that jumps in the back seat with me got a coat pulled up to the neck. Man, I'm talking about it's hot. I said, hold on, wait a minute. Something is wrong with this picture. So, we get downtown. I tell my boy, I said, man, that's a dude, man. Oh, no, you drunk. Shut up. <laughs> I, said, <laughs> I said, man, that's a dude. So anyway, make a long story short, he ended up taking these chicks to uh, some kind of club. Man, I asked him, what, what was the club about over on Van Dyke and Harper? They told us they couldn't tell us. All right then, I knew a red flag went up. <laughs> red flag, she went up when you got a, somebody <laughs> with a big old coat on zipped up to the collar in 95 degree weather. He drops them off. We go back. Oh, now, nah, he's too drunk to drive, so he asked me to drive. Okay, I drove. It was his car. I double park. I'm looking at the people going in. I'm like, 
man, them look like dudes going up in that club dressed up as women. He come running out, tossing him, let's go, let's go, let's go. I said, what's wrong, man? What's happening? Man, you was right. It ain't nothing but dudes in there doing the splits. <laughs> He oh, said, he took you to a drag queen club. He said, he say, don't tell nobody. He said, man, I'm telling everybody I know that you was riding around with a dude dressed up. <laughs> so, man, I don't know, man. I mean, that was just, uh, that's crazy, man, that he's, you know, that he was put in that situation. Because I wasn't put in a situation. I'm going to tell you right now, because I told him straight from the jump it was a dude. And I know he listened. And I don't care. I'm tell, I told the story. You know, you look, I don't use his name. <laughs> <laughs> So you never been fooled, Longhorn? You know anybody that no. ever been fooled? I don't know anybody been fooled, trick or flim flammetry. And uh this guy who who killed this uh killed this uh person because, you know, their pride was hurt and they were fooled. Well, if they gonna get justice brought up on them and uh, you know, whether you know, whether the person fooled them or not, uh, hey, you know, human beings are human beings and it's wrong to take somebody's life just because 'cause you've been hurt and you've been fooled. So it, it, he did the crime. And he's gonna do the he's gonna do the, he's gonna do the time and down here in Texas, you know they quick to hit the switch on somebody here in Texas. That's so he's true. The wrong place to kill somebody. It's wrong to kill somebody. Period. But here in Texas, oh, they hit the switch on you real fast down here, brother. So. All right, we got that in the midst. We got the Jackie Robinson team in the midst. If you want to call in, let us know what's happening. Three one three five six eight twelve hundred. Feel free to do so. Hey, Longhorn, let me backtrack to the Super Bowl for a second, right? You know, I uh, remember when I was telling people that they give only a certain amount of tickets out to the uh, fans, which they only release a thousand to just normal people out here to the public. Yeah. Check this out: it's a Seattle Seahawks player, right? Right. Uh, he just came out and said that um, he was giving thirteen tickets to the Super Bowl. Okay. He ended up selling them for three to four thousand dollars a piece. Oh yeah, oh yeah, huh? Now nice. they now it's against that. Now they can't do it technically themselves, so they got to go between guy to do it, and the agent takes a small cut of it. So once again, this one guy gonna talk about some how much the um, league care about people. Yeah, okay, I'm not releasing them tickets to just the general public. You know, the fans out here that actually pay to get into the um, games all year long. When it comes down to the Super Bowl, they can't get no tickets. It's hard to get tickets. Wow. Yeah. Anyway, check this out, Longhorn. You're talking about the combine jumping off, right? Yes. They got the Lions going with the got the twenty three pick overall. They uh majority of the people got them taking uh Malcolm Brown, the defensive tackle from Texas, Longhorn. Is that a replacement for Sue? Fairly? Well, you know, Fairly, let's talk about Fairly. You know, Friday the 13th is normally considered a, a bad day for some people. You know, Friday the 13th, some people are suspicious about that. But Fairly, he got off, he got a lucky deal on Friday the 13th. Because that DUI charge that came upon him in uh, in 2012, yeah. he, was found, he was found not guilty on that DUI. He just had to pay a fine of $500 for a reckless driving. So now Fairly says he's going to go back to Houston, get in shape, so all the teams can start looking at him. But uh, I think uh, I think Fairley is gone because, you know, he has knee problems and he had weight problems in the past. So I think they're going to let Fairley go and they're going to keep Sue. You got to keep Sue. You got to keep him. I'm, I'm sorry. You I don't think Sue want to stay here. I, I think mm, uh, I think Sue wants to stay. I think. Excuse me. I think Sue. If, if, if he wants to stay, uh, why would his agent say he want to go back to Seattle, where he's from, and uh, play for the Seahawks? Nah, I think Sue is going to stay in the long run. I, I think somebody's going to get in Sue here and say, "Look, we're, you see that the team is building, and and they're going to build that defense around around Sue." I say, give him one more, you know, give him one more chance, couple more years. They're going to bring in a new defense. Whoa, 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 whoa. Guy Longhorn, first of, Longhorn, first Sue's of all, going to stay. First of all, Longhorn, the defense ain't the problem. It's the suck quarterback. Your quarterback suck. Know, and your offensive but, but, line suck. <laughs> you you have no running game. Sue is going to stay. Sue is going to stay. Quote my words on that. You can put it in the history on this day, February 14, uh, 2015, the Longhorn says Sue is going to be here. Fairly yeah, if they franchise him, he has no choice. Yeah, but Sue will be here. Yeah, if they franchise him, he has no choice. 
I mean, he has a choice to say, I don't want to stay and let me out of here. You know what I'm saying? But he's going to stay. All right. And let me say something. Jesse, the guy that does our video, you know, when I talked about that, uh, the drag queen story, I don't want to look up on the video and see no mean Joe Green and them in no dress. So <laughs> just, <laughs> I know Jesse's listening to this, so no, I don't want to see that. <laughs> but anyway, Longhorn, give me your final words before we get out here, get up out here. My final words is that there's eight as eighty six thousand and four hundred seconds in a day. Eighty six thousand four hundred seconds in a day. What you do with your eighty six thousand four hundred seconds in a day, make sure they're positive and going in the right direction. That's what the Longhorn has to say. Um two fingers up, that's deuces out of here. All right. Thanks for the people listening. I don't know what to say behind that, people. Anyway, uh, thanks for listening to Detroit Sports Jersey. We're here every Saturday from 3 to 3.30. You want to check out the shows, you can go to DetroitSportsJersey.com. And also, the Longhorn will be holding a contest, a raffle here. All you got to do is just call in, enter your name. First prize, $250. Second prize, 100 And third prize is 50 That's all it takes is just to enter your name. You have to pay nothing or do nothing. Until next week, we out of here. Thank you, listeners from Detroit to Central Texas, for joining us here live on Detroit Sports Jersey with your hosts, Will Sims and co-host Longhorn, every Saturday at 3 p.m. Eastern, right here on WCHB 1200 AM and 99.9 FM. Visit us at DetroitSportsJersey.com. Straight sports talk. No professionals here. Have a great weekend.